If you use Elementor, I don't think there's a reason to use a WordPress theme anymore. And I'm going to explain this right now. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Here I am on my Elementor website and there's a brand new version of Elementor running on this site right here. So when I click on the hamburger icon right here on the top left, you're going to see this new option that says theme style. This is brand new and it's going to enable you to do things that normally you had to have a WordPress theme to do. Let me show you just a, a refresher. This is the prior version of Elementor. You can see there's no theme style option here. This is version 2.8 and under. But now we have this theme style option and when you click on it, it's going to show you these five different things that you're now going to be able to control on a global level that affects your entire website. Now let me show you how to get this. I'm using a beta, beta version of Elementor. There's no secret access code to be able to get this. Everyone has access. I don't recommend doing this on your live website, but you can log into the back end of WordPress, click on Elementor, click on tools, and there's this tab here that says version control, and then down here it says beta tester, and you would switch that to enable. Then click on save changes and check to see if you have an update available on your website. So here is my list of plugins and you can see I'm using the free version of Elementor. This is not Elementor Pro. This is the Elementor that over almost 4 million people are using right now. And you can see it's version 2.9 and it's the very first beta of this. Okay, enough chitter chatter. Let me just show you what you're able to do. You're able to globally control these five different parts of your website that traditionally you needed a theme for, but actually it goes way beyond because a lot of themes don't even give you some of these options. But now everyone that uses Elementor gets them. Now keep in mind, even though I'm on this particular page right here, every change I make here is going to affect the entire website. It is so convenient and it's going to make your website design so much more consistent. It's going to make it easy if you want to change something in the future, you know, in the 80s fanny packs were the thing everyone had a fanny pack but you know what nobody has would, would be caught dead with a fanny pack today see because styles change and now with this new feature you're going to be able to change or update the style on your website with just a few mouse clicks so let's take a look at these five things we're going to be able to do you can first change the background color the next thing is topography so let me expand these options you can change the colors and the topography properties for your paragraph text and for all six headline texts and you can also control paragraph spacing but wait you can also change the link properties you can set the global color of your links the hover color the topography all of that very easily in the same interface that you already know how to use if you use Elementor. Okay, let's go ahead and collapse this and now check this out, buttons. Buttons are a pain in the rear end, but now you're gonna be able to globally style those buttons, including the hover properties. So when I go on hover, you can set a different border, you can put your box shadow in, border radiuses, you have control over all of these properties. Next, form fields. Now this is gonna make a whole lot more sense right here. This is a WooCommerce checkout page and you can now, using the new theme style, change the way the form fields look and I'm going to show you that in a second. You don't even get that kind of a feature out of a WordPress theme. So this new theme style feature goes beyond what a theme offers you anyway. I'm going to show you that in a moment. And then you can tr control images. So the same with normal or hover. You could put borders, you could put border radiuses change opacity, box shadow, CSS filters, you name it, you're able to do it now. So let me just show you the topography real quick and then I'll show you that form field feature. So I'll click on topography and right here, this is an H1 heading right here, but check this out, this is an H2 and this right down here is an H2 as well. So when I modify the H2, font it's going to affect both of them and every place there is an h2 heading on my entire website so let me scroll down to h2 
uh, let me go ahead and I'm just gonna play around with the topography so for the transform oops I actually already set it to uppercase because uh, you can see I was playing around with this I could change the size and you can see how they're both changing together so all the h2s on my entire website are being adjusted right now um, and you can see I've got it right there I can set the line height the letter spacing I get to have control over all of it on my entire website right there it's just that simple uh, let me just show you the image option right now because I have an image right here so I can go ahead and set a border radius if I wanted to you can see uh, it's very extreme but it just rounded it all out I could add some uh, box shadow there and this will apply to all of your images so you can globally control this and if I wanted to add a CSS filter I could do that as well and this will affect everything obviously I wouldn't want to blur every image but you get the point you have global control over all of it now let's take a look at form fields this is really cool so I'm gonna click on the hamburger icon I'm gonna click on theme style so I can get back into my theme styles I'm gonna click on form fields and it's kind of hard to see these form fields actually so let's go ahead and I don't recommend doing this at home but I'm gonna darken the color and I'm gonna just to just to show you what you can do so here's the border type so I'm gonna set it to solid and then I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to set the color. So I'm just going to make it black so it's very obvious, right? Now I can increase the thickness if I wanted to, but that's a bit too much. I can do the same thing with the border radius if I wanted to make all the fields pill shaped. Check this out, but I can also change the focus properties. So I just clicked on focus. That, that's what happens when you're clicked in the field. So see when I click inside there, that means it's now in focus mode. So I can manipulate that as well. So if I wanted to set a different background color, I don't recommend doing this at home, but there it is. Check this out. Now when I'm focused on a field, you can see that the colors changed. This stuff is really hard to do unless you know CSS or have some tool that enables you to do these kinds of things. So I just set it so when I'm clicked in a field I get some box shadow. Uh, we can even do something uh, really weird. Um, like Let's see if that works. Yep, there we go. Check that out. Boom. Uh, try doing that one at home. Okay, so there we have it and that's how you do the form fields. Now a really nice feature that's built into this is some of the same stuff we're already used to with Elementor so if I screw up and I set something and I'm like I don't know about that you can still use your keyboard shortcuts or right here there's the history option on the bottom left and there's a full list of everything I just edited and you can even see the saved revisions that I've done in the past this is when I was playing around with it uh, and lastly uh, if you click right here in the settings on the bottom left you can name and who knows what this stuff's for it says kit settings I just discovered this uh, and then right here you can name these style settings but this is kinda cool you can leave them to disabled so you can perfect it and then you can publish it when you're ready because it affects your entire site this is actually very nice because you can have these changes go live and, and once they're perfected uh, I just love that so then you're gonna go ahead and click on update I'll just go ahead and do it I'll click on update and then I'm gonna click on this X to get out of the theme style and now I'm back into the normal Elementor isn't that easy now keep in mind it's different than the normal Elementor interface so if I'm in here making a bunch of changes and I haven't saved it this is what happens if I try to get into the theme styles so I'll click on the hamburger icon I'll click on theme style and it's saying whoa we're gonna leave for a second you're not even gonna notice it but do you want to save these changes and you have your option to save or discard and there you can see now I'm gonna get kicked back into the theme style so I'm gonna go ahead and get back out of theme style in here and just to be thorough there's another update that's included in this latest update for Elementor if we go back into the hamburger icon we go here to global settings and I click on Lightbox we got a whole heck of a lot more options here for Lightbox let me show you what this looked like before so this is the prior version I'm gonna go into global settings I'm gonna click in Lightbox and we only had these four options uh, right here not much but now 
we have a whole bunch of more options here. We've got counters, full screen, zoom, share, footer text, and we could choose the text, the title, the description, background color, toolbar icon sizes, navigation icon sizes. You could see you got a ton of options there. For Elementor users, you might not need a theme anymore. This perfectly fills what it was missing if you wanted to use the free hello theme from Elementor. It totally fills the gap and now you can use the hello theme from Elementor and have all the flexibility that you would have from a normal theme. That's why I'm saying a theme is dead. However, there are certain situations where you still need a theme. I just showed you if you're using the free version of Elementor, you still need a theme. If you are doing more of an app style website, like say a, a listing website where you want directory listings, you're probably going to want to use the My Listing theme, which gives you those features that you're just not going to get out of using Elementor. So it adds them in with the theme. In that scenario, you still need a theme. Same goes for the Buddy Boss theme. If you want this really slick, kind of Facebook like experience on your website with groups and forums and uh, learning modules, you could do that with the Buddy Boss theme. You're never going to get that out of Elementor. So the theme actually brings unique features. So in those situations, you're still going to want a theme as well. Hey, if you don't have Elementor Pro, I do have a link in the video description box. If you click on it, it's a referral link, which means a little bit of money comes back to the channel to help uh, keep this thing going. Uh, but I want to ask you, what do you think about this new theme styles? Do you think a theme is dead for Elementor users? I kind of do. I don't see a reason in most situations to buy a theme anymore when you're getting this in the free version of Elementor. It's amazing stuff, but I care more about what you think. And I'd love to hear about that in the comment section down below. Hey, I'd really appreciate it if you thumbed up this video, if you shared it someplace on Facebook or Twitter, just to get the conversation going. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, click on that notification bell. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one.